In today's video, we're gonna be making this super easy baby bingo. You're first gonna open up a document the size of a US letter, and then we're gonna go in to the app section on the left and type in bingo cards. It is gonna be the first app that is yellow and it kind of looks like it has a calendar on it. You're gonna go ahead and click on that. And now this is where you're gonna enter in all of the words. I've already gone ahead and written up 16 different kind of words that are in the baby category but if you're going to be doing a different category put those words in there and then the next thing i went ahead and did is i'm going to choose four by four because if you do four times four that's 16 words and then i'm going to pick the number of cards in today's video i'm going to be doing five but if you have more cards than that put that number down and then the last thing you're going to go ahead and pick is the font so i really don't think they have a lot of fonts available i'm happy they have still some choices so you can customize it to your specific event and then i actually lied the last thing you're going to go ahead and do is you're going to decide if you want the grid line so those are the lines that are going to go in between all of the words i am going to keep those grid lines because i like them you're going to click create bingo cards and all of the bingo cards will get generated now if you were to go up to any of the bingo cards and just click on it it will actually appear on your screen so you are able to use it in your design however you would like I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete it off the design and re-add it later. I showed you guys how to do it first just for the people that clicked on the video just for that tutorial. So let's go ahead and put a square on the screen and this is where my bingo card's gonna be kind of in front of. So I'm gonna go ahead and make it white and as you can see, as I'm enlarging it, it actually starts to become a rectangle. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I am going to click on the circle on the corners and I'm gonna slowly scroll and you can see a W and an H come up here that is width and height and I'm just gonna make sure that they are the exact same. So I'm kind of aiming for right now six by six and then it is a square again. Now I'm gonna center it on the screen. The way you do this is you hold and scroll and then a solid line will appear throughout the screen. And then I'm gonna change my background to this kind of yellowy, creamy color, tan color. I don't know, it's one of them. Now we're gonna go ahead on the left side and click text and then add a text box and I'm going to enlarge it. So I'm actually able to see which what the text looks like. And then I'm gonna type in baby bingo or whatever name you were gonna be creating this bingo card for. And I'm gonna go ahead and find a cursive font. So I went to the handwriting and then now I'm just gonna find a really elo eloquent, eloquent? Okay, I can't say that word. <laughs> cursive font. Now I'm gonna go back on the left side and click elements and I am going to type in flower. I'm sorry if you're hearing any squeaking or grunting in the background like that. I just had a baby so she has to be near me and she makes a lot of sounds. Um, and then I am going to find one that I like and you can see the three dots in the corner. If I click that, you'll see the C more like this. So you can actually find a lot of them that are the same. So if you want to have the same kind of theme on your page, but have multiple elements, this is a great way to do this. You'll see that I am picking one that's gonna go on the corner in the bottom right side, but I'm also gonna go ahead and pick one that's gonna go on the corner on the top left side as well, but they are different elements. Okay, so I just adjusted the font and then I rotated the top left um, element. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and remake those bingo cards because unfortunately they do not save. And once I do that, then I can go ahead and add them onto my screen. I'm going to resize it so it fits perfectly in the box. And this is kind of where you wanna make sure that your elements are not gonna be going over the words. Everything's really easy to read because that is important since it's the whole point of this whole design is the bingo. Um, so you'll see right now that the sleeper is actually kind of going over my flower design. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is go and click on that element and just bring it down so it does not cover it. And you kinda wanna keep in mind that other words might cover it. So maybe even I would've brought it down a little bit more. And then now I'm gonna duplicate this design and I'm just going to keep bringing over the new bingo cards to make them look the exact same. I keep the old bingo card and then I am going to place it on 
top of one another. And I'm gonna be looking at the lines to make sure that it is perfectly in the exact same spot. So you can see right now it's actually too big and it is not in the same spot. Once I have it in the right spot, I am actually gonna be going up to position and then I am going to go over to layers. And when I'm in layers, you will see that all of the different elements come up. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on the other bingo card and delete it. This is the easiest way to grab the other um, bingo card without moving the one that's on top of it. So if two elements are on top of one another, this is a great way to grab the one that's behind it. That is all I have for you guys today. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you later. Bye-bye.